In this video I'm going to show you how I glued together this MDF kit to produce this beautiful little project. You've got three little windows that are all of equal sizes and they're quite deep so you can pop lots of decoration actually in there. If you like the contents of this video please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new and why not click on the notifications button as well. This will allow you to be notified of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. Right, without further ado, let's get gluing this MDF kit. Hello and welcome to this how-to video for That's Crafty Products. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to put together a three-dimensional film strip MDF kit that will enable you to decorate all of the little windows. Now the glue that I'm going to be using for this is the That's Crafty Multi-Purpose Craft Adhesive. This is an ideal glue to be used when you're constructing any of the MDF kits. Before you actually start to make up the kit, just familiarise yourself with the actual MDF pieces themselves. So you have the main item here, there's the MDF strip. You can push out all of these tiny little elements here and save them because you can then use them to create dimension inside all of your little film strip windows. You then got the back that has two hanging holes, one if you want it as a landscape and the other one if you want it as portrait. You can also use these to put through a wire if you're going to be putting lights inside your film strip case. You then have the two sides and then you have the two ends and then also the two dividers in the middle. You also have this piece here where if you want to use the kit as a landscape then you can put this on the back and then that will stabilise everything so you can stand it up. Right, let's get to creating this piece. So the first part of this MDF kit we're going to construct is the three boxes. So first of all if you've got any of these little tabs just push them all out. So the pieces we're going to be constructing first is the back and these two sections here that have got the tabs on three sides. So just apply some of the glue just to the back base like so and on this side as well. and then just slot in the two little shelves. So just pop that one in there and that one in like so. If any glue spills out then just simply using a piece of kitchen cloth just wipe them away. So the next two pieces are the side pieces. So these are the ones with the little holes actually in there. So what you need to do is to first off glue all of the tabs on the base along one side. So using your glue just go along on one side like so and then on the side then just go for the reverse strips and then what you need to do is just add a little bit of glue just in between the holes. Turning it at 90 degrees then just line everything up and then just push together. So you just want to ensure that the two little tabs from the little shelf units actually come through the side unit. Once again if there's any glue that's seeped out just wipe that away with a piece of kitchen cloth. Now just twisting our unit round we're going to repeat exactly the same process so again we're just going to glue on to the tabs just there just apply a little bit of glue okay and then take your other side strip and apply glue on all of the tabs on the bottom part just like we did before And then once you've done that, just pop a little bit of glue in between those holes there. 
just as before, just twist that at 90 degrees and pop all of those tabs and then just push in together, ensuring that those little tabs have actually come through the holes. Once again, if there's any glue that's seeped out, then just wipe that away. The next two pieces I need gluing together are the end pieces. So just pop those down aside for one moment. First of all, what you want to do is apply glue to all of the tabs on the main element. So just all of those ones there. Just twist that round. And then you need to apply glue on these tabs as well. Hold the box and then align up those tabs to the tabs in the bottom part. Rotate 90 degrees and then just hold that in position. And as before, if there's any glue that's seeped out, then just wipe that away. Let's just twist that round and repeat the same process again. So just apply glue to all of those tabs like so and then on the tabs on the end piece as well. Again, just pop that and then pull that up so all of those tabs join together and just wipe away any glue. So that is our back plate already constructed with our two little shelves in there to hold all of the decorations. Now you will notice that the shelves, the internal shelves, are actually slightly smaller. This isn't a design fault, it's actually been designed so if you're going to be putting any lights in there then you can actually run the wires in front of those little shelves. Now taking the front piece of MDF, that's the film strip, push out all of these little elements but don't throw them away because they will come in handy later on when you actually add all of your decoration to your little boxes and these will help just give a little bit more dimension. So now you've pushed all these little tabs out of the film strip then just bring back in the base. And then what you need to do there is just apply glue on all of the raised outer parts of the back box. Once you've got the glue all the way around, then all you need to do is line up your top part like so, so that basically where the side of the frame is it basically goes flush with the side of the wall. So just adjust that accordingly until you're happy. Wipe away any glue, just being careful that you don't move the top part. So before the glue has set, just make sure that everything is aligned nicely. And then when you're happy with that, then just pop some weight on the top there, just hold everything in place whilst the glue dries. So once the glue has dried, you can then use this either in a landscape format or a portrait format. If you're going to be wanting to put it on a wall in a landscape format, then you need to take out this tab here but if you're going to be hanging it on a wall in a portrait format, then you need to take this tab out here. However, if you're going to be wanting to add lights and hang it on a wall, then you will need to take out both tabs. So let me show you how that works. So first of all, I'm just going to take out both of those tabs. And let's just say we're going to be putting this one on a wall in a landscape format. So that is like this. So we can actually use this other hole to post the lights from the back through. So let's just do that. And these holes are big enough to take some quite large lights, but you can also get smaller lights as well. They're going to work just as well. 
So I'm just going to post through some of those lights. And I also mentioned earlier that how I've designed this is that the shelves that actually fit inside have got a little bit of a gap. And that's so if you want to add lights like I'm doing here, you can then post those through and in between each of the sections. So all three of your little boxes can be lit if you should so wish. And obviously what you want to do is then just use a hot glue gun or some silicon glue just to hold those lights in place. And on the back there you can actually put in your little battery case so it can either sit on the back there or on the side and if you have a battery pack like this which is slightly more flush then you can also just glue that on the side of your MDF kit. So I've designed this so basically you can hang on a wall either in landscape or portrait format but maybe you don't want that maybe you just want to pop it on a shelf or something like that on a flat surface. So what you need to do there is use this last piece this is the the, the tab which you're probably wondering what is it doing well what you need to do is basically pop the tab underneath your film strip like so so basically it touches this side wall here so just hold that into position and then just draw yourself a line okay now the part that's actually under the film strip just pop an X in there okay so that's the part that you do not want to glue then add a little bit of the glue to the part that hasn't got the cross on like so and now we can pop that round and you can see here it's got these tabs so you've got the two dark tabs and you've got the lighter one that lighter one is the centerpiece so it's basically underneath here now it's entirely up to you you can glue it on this side so it holds that tab in position or you can glue on that side entirely up to you I'm just going to pop it this side so I'm just going to turn that round like so just hold that into position and then turn your box round and you can see the little line that you've drawn so basically you just want to see that line just a little bit and that X that we have drawn and you know that, that is in the center of your box just hold that for a few seconds for the glue to actually set and then I can just stand that up so it's completely freestanding. So now you've put together your MDF kit, now comes the fun part and that's decorating it using all of the mediums that you have in your crafting stash. Now each of the three windows is eight centimeters in height by just under seven and a half centimeters wide and three and a half centimeters in depth. The overall length of the piece is 27 and a half centimetres and the width is 13 centimetres. Now remember all those parts that I told you to save in the first instance? Well these are the parts that we actually popped out of the film strip. Now the intention is that if you glue them together you're going to add height to parts that you actually put in to your boxes. So I'll just show you what I mean. So we can pop 3D element actually on top of there just so it's raised from the back of the box and obviously if you want to go higher then you can just glue more of these pieces together. So let's just pop this one down here and I'm just going to add another couple. Okay so we're really giving all of those elements that you're going to be sticking in there a little bit of a dimension. So let's just pop that one over there. Just make sure they're all glued together and then you can add another element that is raised even higher. I think you get the gist of what it is. So as I said, make sure that you keep these handy so they'll help give dimension to your finished piece. If you want to purchase this MDF kit, please go to the That's Crafty website. The link is in the description. That's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please click on the like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new and why not click on the notifications button as well. This will allow you to be notified of all brand new content that I upload to my YouTube channel. As always, thanks for watching.